There's nothing President Obama and I take more seriously, though, than keeping the American people safe. In the past few weeks, though, we've heard an awful lot of people suggest that the best way to keep America safe is to prevent any Syrian refugee from gaining asylum in the United States. To turn them away and say there's no way you can ever get here would play right into the terrorist hands. You know, shame, shame on this. I'm so fed up with this administration. Anything anybody, I have said this 10 times today, anything anybody suggests to fight ISIS, any strategy they suggest, any, any strategy suggested to keep uh, America safe, uh, the media coverage Obama yesterday blasted, all of it plays right into ISIS's hands. Only Obama isn't playing right into ISIS's hands. Joining us now on the panel, it's Tom Tancredo, former congressman and, of course, a former presidential candidate, and Breitbart.com columnist, and Ben Weingarten, he is founder of Change Up Media, former editor of the Blaze Books, and contributor to the Federalist, Newsmax, and National Review. Gentlemen, welcome. Congressman, let me start with you. Um, you noticing this theme? Any disagreement sure. with Obama, and you're playing, you're supporting ISIS. You're making it easier for ISIS. Right, exactly. Even when ISIS tells us, you know what we're going to do? We're going to infiltrate the people coming into your country. We're going to put our people in there, our terrorists, our jihadists. We're going to make them swim in that same uh, pond. And, 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 the, and the president goes, nah, I don't believe him. You know, uh, this is just the JV team again. And they're using social media. And only I know exactly how to handle them. Because, of course, he's handled them so well up to this point. Yep, Ben, welcome aboard. Uh, what's Thank your you. take? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, by the president's own metrics and social justice, basically we need to export all of the uh, radical, violent extremist right-wingers in the country and replace them with a, <laughs> the peaceful, tolerant, liberal Syrian refugees. Now, now, yeah, now, now, now Congressman, I, I don't want time to tick away here. You got, you caused quite a stir. I don't say you got in trouble, but you caused quite a stir by posting on your Facebook page uh, pictures, uh, a picture specifically of that concert hall in Paris with the bodies laying in blood. We're going to put that up here. We've, we've blurred it uh, so that you know, uh, people can't see the, 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 uh, the, the, all the goriness of it. But uh, uh, tell me what made you post it in its, uh, in its you know, graphic nature and what happened? What was the reaction? Well, I posted it because, of course, it was a picture of exactly what happened there. And it is important for people to see. It is important for people to know with whom we are at war and what they will do. I was amazed. Now, I did not pixelate it. I did not blur it. Right. I printed it just the way I took it off of the web, to tell you the truth. And uh, what I said was celebrating diversity, one massacre at a time. I'm not sure what got people mad or the picture or, or what I said. It doesn't matter. The fact is, when you complain about, about the gory details that we put in, I was fascinated. Why? Do you remember when that little three-year-old boy washed up his body washed up on shore yep. in Greece I saw that everywhere that was a Syrian refugee supposedly. that's right yeah. but, but of course it was perfectly okay to show that little boy's body to everybody night after night on the news and, and everywhere else everywhere you looked because of course that picture was to make was designed to make you sympathetic to those people coming across this is not designed to make you sympathetic to ISIS, just the opposite, and that's what gets the people so upset. What do you think? I, I yeah. agree 100%. Yeah, the, the congressman's absolutely right. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is that progressives like to see the world as it is, as they like it to be, not as it is. And so when you show imagery that's real, you can't hide from the imagery. So when you have a Hillary Clinton who gives this much acclaimed address at the Council on Foreign Relations last week and says Muslims have nothing to do yeah. with terrorism whatsoever, juxtapose that with the image that the congressman put up. Progressives aren't living in reality. Conservatives and those of right. us on the right and, are. And the polls on these issues show it. I want to get real, uh, quick to Trump here and then quick reactions from both of you. Let's hear. I do want surveillance. I will absolutely take database on the people coming in from Syria if we can't stop it, but we're going to. And if I win, I've made it known, if I win, they're going back. We can't have them. They're going back. We can't have them. We can't have them. All right, that he did say. They misrepresented what he said on a database for Muslims in this country. Uh, Congressman, your take, thir uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> Progressives 
absolutely can't understand, don't believe, and don't know what the majority of Americans think about this issue and about and probably almost everything else. They think that most people get upset when he says that. In fact, no. they're yeah. it's just the opposite. Yeah, Ben, that's ap Ben. The polls show it out today. We've discussed them uh, uh, earlier that the polls show that since the bombing, Trump's numbers have surged. Yeah, the people understand that it's a constitutional duty of our representatives to understand Islamic supremacism. It's a theopolitical ideology, and we need to defend against it. All right, uh, guys, really appreciate it. Congressman, as always, and Ben, welcome aboard. Thank you yeah. both. Good conversation. Great Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving. You too. Great Thanks, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Up next, co-authors of Sold Out, Michelle Malkin and John Miano. Don't go away.